Thank you for tuning back in to the channel. I was asked multiple times to show maybe a little bit more of the uh, Mammoth Gantry on the Boron 2.4. Here we can just um, see a little bottom view, how it looks like, um, all the components in it. We have the um, X-axis uh, rail top mounted. Um, belts are front and back, same as on the VZBot. We have the VZBot tool head, Hextruder Goliath. Uh, behind it, a cable management cover. So it just helps to clean up the printer, all the cables, and in this case, water cooling, all the pipes that have to go down the uh, drag chain, just to clean it up and make it look uh, neat. Then we see the Y1 motor in the background coming around. There's also the XN stop. Um, I don't know if you can notice it, maybe in the other clips, uh, I made little um, belt anchors. They work really a lot better um, on the um, VZBot tool head. Then the VZBot XY joiners. These are the originals, the same like Simon uses on his printer. We have some more cable management. If you look on the uh, Y axis where the cables and pipes are running through, um, just to organize everything, make it look neater, less vibration on the printer. Here again, the tool head with the um, modified um, duct with LEDs on it. And this is actually the original one that has been modified for LEDs. The front X motor, uh, in this build, I was still using um, 30 tooth pulleys uh, and there's some more idlers in there just to line the belts back up again so that um, we don't have an offset of the, um, of the belts when the, when the gantry is moving. So there you can see the clips, those little anchors. I don't know if it would maybe too small, but yeah, those, they really do a brilliant job. Then the um, X and stop got modified for this gantry because otherwise we lost too much weight on the X movement. Uh, behind it also the cable management got um, a little bit modified just to be able to bolt down those cables that they don't move around. Uh, also helps for vibration and, and less cable break. X end stop um, connector or where it touches on got re remade. I didn't like that if you removed it or if you cracked it that you had to loosen the whole gantry or the, the X axis, so I removed that. Then also in the cable management, of course, you have the option to put a Gnome, uh, this is version 2 in. I think it's an awesome little display, um, makes the printer still a lit, little bit more fun and not just um, speed and craziness, but also some fun a bit in the printer. Um, also the drag chain, I decided not to move it down. It works actually perfectly the way that it is. I did move it over to the left, but not, but not out of the way. Then some more cable management, of course, uh, with so much cables and, and pipes, you need to manage it somehow. These pipes go underneath the motor, underneath the X1 and Y1 motor, um, which works perfect with the Krakens, um, having a longer shaft. And then at the top view, what makes really this printer so stable are the Z-tensioners that are made for the printer. These are also to brace the top corners, otherwise we don't really have braces at the top. It really makes the whole frame just stiffer. Um, I found that there's less vibration on the printer. You didn't really see it in the um, uh, input shaper. But I can tell you from, um, and also if you watch videos that are older where I didn't have them in and the printer was just shaking ridiculously, now it's just stable and, and it's doing what it's, what it's supposed to do. So definitely, even if you don't use it as a Z-tensioner, if you can make something like that, just brace your printer, it will help 100%. Then yeah, these um, all-wheel drive front motors, very stable.
bottom view again and also see the CPAP um, connection at the back connected to the Mammoth muffler. I really hope you enjoyed the short video. Please let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you would like to see on the printer. I was also thinking to maybe do a rundown of the back, all the electronics that are on the printer. And if you enjoy videos like this, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. I would really appreciate it.